Hey guys, welcome back to my tiny house. I literally just got done on a seven hour drive to come here. We're gonna start out with my June expenses and any problems that I may have had at the tiny house. All right, so let's turn this light on. <laughs> I am inside my tiny home to do the rest of it. I was getting bit up outside. So here is July. I'm so excited to be back at my freaking tiny house. I'd much rather be in here for some reason. It's just so quiet. I wish the cicadas were going right now. But anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into here because we have a lot to say. All right, guys, so I had my cleaner, $78.75 each time that he comes. I feel like that we were, I was supposed to be paying him $80, but the app that I pay him on takes a percentage out of his pay. And I'm very close to just telling him to bill me separately so that he's not getting charged this because maybe $80 is coming out of my you know, bank account, but only 76, 78 is going to him. So we might have to discuss A, him going higher for his amount. He's a great cleaner, you guys. He's very reliable. I am all for giving him more money. Like I could not do any of this without my cleaners. So I wanna make sure that they're taken care of. This is a very, very tiny, tiny home to clean. He says it takes him like 30 minutes to clean, 40 minutes maybe. So he's like, I don't wanna charge you too much money, but definitely he deserves it. So, you know, Will, if you ever see this video, thank you so much for everything that you do. And that gives me a total of $866.25 for what he got paid for July. And then some of the things that happened, I had one guest come and lie about the cleanliness of my place in July. She came, I always watch the cameras as much as I can when people check in just to make sure that they can get in safely. Just because I told you guys for the June update that this door, the lock on it, it just messes up. We wanna get rid of it. So I wanna make sure everybody gets in safely. She gets in and then they walk out immediately and they start messaging me. They're like looking around and stuff and they're like, we don't like it here. We don't feel safe. It's dirty. Well, at first she didn't say it was dirty. She was like, the bunk bed doesn't seem sturdy. It seems unsafe. Um, um, it um, we don't feel safe here we just don't like it and I was like well I can't really give you a refund just because you don't like where it's at you knew it was secluded the bunk bed was made by a certified builder that thing is sturdy I can't really give you a refund because of that I mean I can give you a refund for the day but I'm not gonna refund you everything so then she goes and checks the hot tub and she was like well there's a joint on the hot tub and I'm like there's a joint take a picture of it. I'll try to put the picture here if I can find it. And it was like sitting slightly near the water. And I was like, well, I can give you a refund for the inconvenience of that. And I can even have my cleaner come and clean that up. But the water is not dirty. The house is not dirty. And she was like, well, I'm going to take it out with Airbnb. She essentially told Airbnb that my house was unsafe and was dirty. And then when I showed them the messages about, well, she found a joint outside on the hot tub that doesn't make my house dirty. They were like, well, your messages prove that it is not up to standards of cleanliness. So we're just gonna go ahead and refund them all the money. You guys always have a good habit of checking me and letting me know if I was wrong. Should she have gotten a full refund? Yeah, so just let me know. Was I wrong? Should she have gotten a full refund for that? I don't think so. And I didn't really appreciate her calling it unsafe and that she didn't feel safe here and that, no, I didn't like, I didn't like it. So I kind of got mad at her, but she got a full refund and it didn't reflect my super host, even though I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep super host because managing three Airbnbs plus one on the side is not easy. It's not easy to have super host. So let me just get that straight. I'm not striving for it. If I get it, great. But I definitely don't wanna be penalized on Airbnb for lies. So, that was one thing that went wrong. We had five nights that were not booked, which is very, actually it was five nights because Airbnb took her off of my books with no penalty except for making, taking my money away. So that left three nights that were booked back onto unbooked. So five nights in all, it would have been just two nights if she had stayed. So five nights in all, three nights were refunded. That was about six or $700 that they refunded her. Now, here's, let's go into the expenses. So you guys know my, my cleaner was $866.25 and I had my lawn cut again for $100 firewood for $50 and the internet this time was 140. 
I don't know why I keep getting charged more. I think I'm allowing them to to charge another five to ten dollars for extra for extra data during some of those months because we we are very much booked here. There's about at least max four people who come here. I tell people it sleeps three people comfortably, two people really really well, but. Some people just like to bring four people and they're bringing their dogs here. I recently upped my dog fee for here because I just feel like people are bringing such big dogs here. And even though we have such a big yard that they can run around in, having them in here, I don't know. I don't feel like it would be that comfortable. So I upped my dog fee recently, but not in July. I don't think I did it in July. I think I did it in August. Um, so 140 for internet. And then my electric was $85.50. Not a lot of money, you guys. So that brung my um, <laughs> that brung my expenses to one thousand two hundred and forty one dollars and seventy five cents. July was the month where we completely just had people using the lockbox key. I wasn't even trying. This is a quick set lock here. It, it doesn't even it doesn't even light up, guys. <laughs> Waste of money. I shouldn't have bought it. I found it on Instagram another tiny house builder was using it i should have just went with what we usually use which is which is slosh so hopefully that's going to fix our problems i'm not mad at using a, a key i'm just so scared that key is going to get lost one day so like i said that was my expenses my gross total my gross profit was five thousand seventy three dollars and ten cents we would have had more money if we didn't have to refund but five thousand dollars on a tiny house this is why I'm buying land and I'm putting more tiny houses up there. We are going to be trying to build up the hill right here. Probably going to be really expensive to do that, but we're looking at some plans right now for that. And then you guys know I have, I am in escrow right now with some land, like 20 minutes down the road from where this tiny house is. So I'm really excited for that. So that brings me a net profit of $3,831.35 on a tiny house. A tiny house. My tiny house has more visitors than any other. My Gatlinburg one does really well. Don't let me lie to you. It does super, super well. It has almost the same amount of bookings. Um, and I do get more money there. But this place is usually always booked out in advance, like well in advance, like October is booked up, September is booked up. We have in December, we have 2023 people coming like this gets booked in advance. So this is where it's at, y'all. I'm going to put up some figures on how much we were charging per night for you guys to see. Um, yeah, I think this is really good. Jump on the tiny house bandwagon. It's still lucrative. Now, I will say the downfalls is that maybe it doesn't build equity, but one day I can sell this as a business, all my tiny house properties. So there is a way to make profit once you're done with it, but I really hope that I'm not done with it until I'm very, very, very old. So that brings my June and July net. Let's do gross profit because gross is such a bigger number. I know everybody hates gross because it's like, what did you actually net? But I like seeing big numbers, okay? So that brung my gross profit to $9,563.23 for those two months. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Are you loving these progress updates? I will try to be a little bit better with it, but I really wanted to film inside my tiny house for these updates because it's just so beautiful. It's so relaxing. <sighs> my favorite place to be so leave your comments down below about how do you think i did leave your comments down below on do you think a tiny house is worth it i am doing a mentorship showing people how to do what i did with the land development answering any of your questions or just side hustle ideas so that you can build some money so that you can eventually invest in something i am doing the mentorship with my cousins i am taking them buying land with them and setting them up with a tiny house business and I am teaching them the whole way through. They bought my mentorship. So this is like a really perfect way to show you guys what I can do when I help you. So I don't know. Stay tuned for that. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.